In the Gaza Strip, Israeli attacks have claimed the lives of at least 20 Palestinians. Among them, 12 were killed in airstrikes on residential buildings in Al Qarara, while eight, mostly children, died in shelling in Az Zawada. The toll rises as dozens are wounded and others remain missing under rubble. The violence in Gaza has prompted calls for a ceasefire from Tedros Adhanom, head of the WHO, who highlighted the dire conditions in the enclave with nearly 31,000 dead and over 72,000 injured. He urged an end to the suffering, asking when is enough. Meanwhile, the US military said it plans to deploy 1,000 troops to build a port system to deliver aid to Gaza. However, Doctors Without Borders criticized this move, calling it a distraction from the ongoing assault and urging for immediate humanitarian access through existing channels. Despite efforts to deliver aid, reports of civilian casualties continue. The US military denied responsibility for an airdrop that killed five in Gaza. Israel's on visa renewals for aid workers adds further complications to humanitarian efforts. In the occupied West Bank, Israeli forces conducted raids, arresting individuals and destroying infrastructure, sparking clashes in several areas. Additionally, Israeli settlers launched attacks overnight, injuring Palestinians and escalating tensions in the region.